Oh, hey YouTubers, what is going on? It is your boy once again, the charismatic anime fanatic, along being the AJ Lee fanboy RKO2582, here to give my SmackDown review for September the 23rd, 2011. So much to cover, let's not waste any time and get this review cracking. Oh, uh, kicking off with SmackDown tonight was, of course, uh, John Laranjive, or Laranjive, I'd call him, Fuck man, saying that, um, he, he actually agreed on what Triple H was saying, and then him and he was like, the new world heavyweight champion, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Oh my god, that, that dude smokes, I swear to god, like a pack a day or something. Alright, um, anyways, yeah, Mark Henry comes out, and then, all the numbers, yeah, pretty much all, the rest of the SmackDown locker room was out there, and they pretty much got the way when he showed up. And, and then Mark Henry was saying, like, 15 years, 15 years. And like, and it's going to take 15 more years to get this time away from me. And, and then here comes, once again, <clears throat> time to play the game. Triple H, COO, and then pretty much, and then just when you thought he was going to speak, then guess who comes? Happy Charisma Christian. One more match. Yep, and I was right. Once again, as usual, Christian was kissing up to Triple H and then and then um, Triple H pretty much gives him what he wants. He gave him his one more match and it's a lumberjack match and it's against Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship and that was the main event for tonight's show. Alright, kicking off um our first match was the Celtic Warrior Seamus, the Great White Hope, against the one man, Southern Rock Band, by the Heath Slater. Oh, God, I hate that dude. And, um, yeah, pretty much it was just, you know, squash match, you could say, yeah, because Seamus once again pretty much beat his ass, and, and he, he pretty much did his usual stuff, and then he ends it with a pro kick, and then one, two, three, your winner, Seamus. Alright, another match. Yeah, it was too short, too. Yeah, we had a lot of short matches tonight. Yeah, and I'll get to why in a second. Um, Wade Barrett, yeah, against Justin Gabriel. Um, Justin Gabriel did some nice spots in this match. Um, did an epic springboard moonsault and that suicide somersault roll. That was sweet. And then that epic STO. And then, of course, Wade Barrett hits him with a boot. And then with the wasteland. One, two, three, your winner. Justin Gay. I'm oh, sorry, Wade Barrett. <laughs> Alright, um, another match was a Divas Tag Team match was the Divas of Doom, Beth Phoenix and Natalia going up against my BFS, Caitlyn, and especially AJ Lee. Not that girl. And, yeah, this was another, you know, quickie Divas match, and there was a double suplex with, um, she was a doom, and then, of course, when once my girl AJ got in, she was rolling, baby. And then, she did a good shine with her on that thing. And then, I, th I thought that was big, because she's been winning people with that move. And then, and then, and then Kaylin did a good job, like, getting the tie up. I mean, but it was off, no bell. Then, AJ got kicked in the gut so hard by Beth Phoenix. That was, ooh. And then, Beth Phoenix hits her with a glam slam. One, two, three. You're winners. These are doom. They need to win this, and I'm happy they they won tonight. As much as I love AJ and Caitlyn, Diva do need it more. So once again, Diva do hoping they get back on track. And this right here, this match once again, the former World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton against Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes. And Believe it or not, yeah, um, Randy Orton was pretty much pissed and showing his anger, and then Rose did like a knee onto Steel Post Orton, and he hit him with a mask, and then he thought that was it, and then Orton hit him with a mask, and he got disqualified, so once again, Cody Rose was disqualified, but that was not the story there, folks. Orton went psycho on Ro Rose, I'm telling you, and then the bell thing he did, he was like, ding, 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 bam, up in the face, and that sucker was bleeding, Cody Rose was Bleed all over the damn place, and boy, that wasn't enough for Orton. He had to hit the boom RKO, and the table didn't break. What else? <laughs> it, it was just, oh my god, that was the most psycho I have seen Orton yet. And oh man, that was like the highlight of tonight's show. You get my drift. And 
And here we have a great Kylie versus Jinder Mahal match. And this, in my opinion, was pointless. Nothing too much happened here. Great Kylie beat Jinder Mahal. And then we have Sin Cara. Which one? Was it the real? Was it the fake? And it was the real Sin Cara. And against D. Bryce. Uh, and it was, a, it was a pretty good match. Um, you had chain wrestling. Then Brian did an epic Mexican surfboard. And then uh, Carl was doing what he used to do, that springboard slash, that handspring elbow. That's how I knew it was the real Sin Cara. And then the fake Sin Cara comes out, takes out the real Sin Cara. Then he does that somersault roll. And then one, two, three, your winner, Sin Cara with, with the fake Hunico. Yeah, and once again, more built to this Sin Cara versus Sin Cara storyline. And we have another tag team match. My boys, Air Boom, against Madonna Sabo, Madonna Sabo, please, Usos. God, I love that Uso chant. <laughs> oh, and Uso did an epic double team in this match. They caught Evan Bourne like a mirror, and then they went into a, like a sidewalk slam. That was a good spot. And then oh, Bourne did his usual snap perk around, and once Kobe got in, he was kicking ass. Boy, he doing springboard punch, splash, everything, and then... And I thought Jimmy had him here with that super kick, and then it was to all no bell. Kofi did his boom, 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 trouble in paradise, and then Evan Bourne hits the airborne. One, two, three, your winners, air boom, baby. Tag team champs looking good. Love that. And we get on to our main event the world's strongest man, Martin Hall of Pain, against one more match, Christian. In a lumberjack match, and yeah, not too much happened either. Um, Christian tried to escape early, and then him was pretty much dominating most of that. And then Christian, every time, and you thought uh, Beagle Jack had it bad, and Beagle Jack beat him up, and then and then once the lumberjack got on the Henry, they were trying to beat up Mark Henry. Henry just woo, went through all the lumberjacks like it was nothing. And then and then Christian was scared. He was like thinking about going to bed. Then Seamus throws him back in, and Henry hits him with the world strongest slam. One, two, three, your winner. Still World Heavyweight Champion Mark Henry. That means the Orrin Henry match at Hell in a Cell is still on. And Orrin comes back in the ring and then he faces down Henry and then he drop kicks him out of the ring. I'm like, damn. All I have to say was Orrin was on fire tonight. And yeah, my opinion, SmackDown tonight did okay, but I still thought Raw this week was, was better than SmackDown tonight. And if you want my take on it. And that was my SmackDown review tonight for you guys and oh huge announcement next week I will not repeat I will not do a Smackdown review next Friday because as you already know I'm getting ready for um, Anime Weekend Atlanta so if you want to ask me more about Anime Weekend Atlanta message me comment me or comment on my channel to, to, to talk to me more about it so once again I will not do a Smackdown review for next Friday it, even though it's the last SmackDown before Hell in a Cell. So I'll probably catch SmackDown if I can, and I'll probably do my Hell in a Cell predictions a bit earlier than I usually do. So once again, yeah, be on the lookout for that. All right, anyways, this is your boy once again, RKO2582, signing off.